I'm gonna share with you how to set up your About Me page on YouTube, and I'm also going to share with you some details that you need to know when it comes to people sharing your YouTube channel and what they're going to see, something you need to have set up so you can get brand deals and do collaborations, and something you need to see to make sure that you're not missing additional opportunities from your About Me page. And real quick, if you're new here, my name is Nick. I'd like to welcome you to the Tube Spanner channel where we help you get more views, subscribers, and revenue from the content you're already making. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so for reference, when we're talking about your About Me page, what we're talking about is the page that shows up when people click on the About tab on your YouTube channel. Now, in our particular case, you're going to see that we have a description of exactly what Tube Spanner is, as well as some additional information here. If you don't have this set up at all, you might be wondering, where do I go to actually fill this out in the first place? The place that you go is in your customization settings. So once you log into your YouTube Creator Studio, then you come down to the customization option, and then you go in to basic info. Once you click on basic info, this is the same place where you put your YouTube channel and your YouTube handle, but if you scroll down the page just a little bit, you're gonna see this area that says description. This description that you see right here, you can see that if we go back to the YouTube channel, you can see it reflected right here on the About Me page. But if we go back into the customization settings, the very first thing I do want to bring to your attention is the opportunity side. So if you are somebody that's using YouTube for business or to send people to your website or anything like like that, they have a link section. Now, if you add a link here, which you do by just clicking add link, then what's going to happen is that is going to show up right up here in your channel banner, regardless of what page people are looking at on your YouTube channel. So if you have a business or anything you're trying to bring attention to, you wanna make sure that you have that part filled out and that you focus on the one thing that's the most important that you bring attention to. Next, in that same area, if we scroll down the page a little bit more, you're gonna see the option to show how many links on the banner. So if you had five links, you could show them all, but keep in mind, it just shows icons. It doesn't show the entire thing. So because of that, you can just put the first link if you just have one link, or you can just keep it at five and it will default to the one. But as a quick pro tip, when you are putting a title for your link, make sure that you do put an actual call to action there instead of just the word website or learn more or something like that. Make sure you make it a little bit more specific so people know what's behind that link. You'll get more clicks that way. The next thing that's really important if you want to do brand deals or collaborations in the future is the email that shows up here behind this business inquiry email. Now for this, all you do is you come down to the contact info section and you put the email that you want people to contact you at. Now, another pro tip for this is make sure that this is not the email that you use for your main YouTube channel. And the reason that this is important is because this is a starting point for hackers. So you need to make sure that you do set up a different email that's public facing and that you can share in your YouTube videos, that you can share here in your About Me page and places like that, so that you can be contacted but scammers won't have access to your official email. So when it comes to your About Me page, this very top sentence is extremely important. And it might not look like it when you're just looking at it on YouTube, but if somebody shares your content out onto other platforms on the internet, this is what they're going to see, or parts of this is what they're going to see. Let me show you. If I go to Twitter and I put the Tube Spanner channel link right here on Twitter, you can see that it says Tube Spanner is the ultimate creator toolkit that helps from everything from planning your content and then has the dot, dot, dot there. So if you're a content creator and you see that, that lets you know that this particular tool or channel has something to do with creating content, so it would be more enticing for you. If we go to Facebook sharing debugger and we see what it looks like there, then if somebody shares it out over there, then you're gonna see Tube Spanner is the ultimate creator toolkit that helps with everything from. So the thing that I wanted them to see, that helps with everything, right? That's the part that I wanted them to see. So when you're optimizing your About Me page, the very first sentence up here, preferably the first part of the sentence, you just wanna make sure that it is clearly speaking to the people that you are trying to reach. In addition to that, it's also information that can help your channel show up in YouTube search. So. When you are putting this together, also make sure that you are being mindful about keywords or keyword phrases that people might use to find your YouTube channel. Next, some people are gonna go to your About Me page because they are just wanting to know more information about you and what it is that you do. So the most important part here is the part right up at the top that I mentioned before, but then from there, just let people know exactly what it is that you're doing on your YouTube channel or any other information that you want them to know. So if you have a passion reason that you are uploading your YouTube videos, you can put that there. If you have some movement you're trying to start, put that there. If you have certain hashtags that you are trying to build around your community, you can put those there. But the 
idea is to use this as a way to inform people of what it is that you're gonna have on your channel, to use it as a way to ensure that your channel shows up when people are searching for it. And of course, make sure it's easy for people to collaborate with you when they want to collaborate with you or brands to reach out to you or other people that are gonna give you opportunities through your About Me page. But the more accurate you make all of this in terms of how it relates to your YouTube channel, the better off you're gonna be. Now keep in mind, this isn't something that's gonna make your channel blow up or anything like that, but this is just one of those things that you need to make sure that you have buttoned up because when you do have people reach out for collaboration or you do have brands reach out, a lot of them are gonna come here and they're gonna see this information and then they're gonna hit your email address here. So because of that, you just wanna make sure that you have all of this squared away so you don't miss out on any of the opportunities that I've mentioned so far. If you found this helpful at all, we have an entire playlist about setting up your YouTube channel properly. You can click into this to make sure that you have everything squared away on your YouTube channel and that you're not making any mistakes. You can go ahead and click into that now and I'll see you in the next video.